Is front-end development better than back-end development? That's a question I've been asking myself for a while right now. In this video, I want to share with you what makes front-end development so special, why I like it so much, and what are the less pretty parts that people don't often talk about. So spoiler alert, this is a very biased video, it's just my thought process, but I'm sure a lot of people can relate to that. So when I say front-end development, of course I mean web development and not mobile development, just to get that out of the way. So I want to start with the good things about front-end development, stuff that I really liked, stuff that made me so invested in starting this YouTube channel and also specializing in front-end and especially in React. So the first thing that I really like is this instant feedback loop. I mean, the developer experience when writing front-end code is just superior. So when you're writing your code, you can see the changes live and can easily iterate over the UI. And that's something that you don't always find in the backend. The second thing is the learning curve. In my experience, learning HTML, CSS, and JavaScript has been way more easy than learning Java or C Sharp. I found that the typical backend languages that use a lot of these patterns like object-oriented programming tend to be really hard to understand and get started with. In comparison, I find JavaScript pretty straightforward. I know it has its own little weird stuff, but it's a good all-rounder. The third thing that I really like about front-end development is how innovative the whole space is. The whole community is super active. There are new packages very often and you can just use the latest libraries to take your code to the next level. Of course, that can also be seen as a disadvantage. If you have a project with multiple libraries, then you need to know the ins and outs of each library and then the code of the project itself. So that's an extra step. And then there is the topic of constant changes. I have noticed in the last years of writing front-end code and dealing with a lot of different libraries, that they always introduce new patterns and new abstractions and sometimes it's really hard to follow why some decisions were made but it doesn't seem that each release is working towards making the code simpler sometimes i have the feeling that it's getting more and more complicated and sometimes i find that this cycle of constant changes is just a bit too much one last thing that i don't often hear about and this may be just me but i was not taught front-end development at university. So I have a bachelor's degree in computer science and there was a really strong focus on back-end development and patterns. So we had to learn front-end development on our own, although we did use it, we didn't have specific classes just for that. This doesn't mean that front-end developer is less worthy than back-end or the other way around. Of course, if I didn't like web dev, I wouldn't have a YouTube channel where I talk about it in my free time. And one reason I really like that is that I get to build something that is tangible, something that you can use on your phone or your laptop. Of course, there are other reasons why I prefer front-end development. Of course, this idea that you always need a front-end but not always a back-end. You can always use Supabase or Firebase or any kind of back-end as a service or that you have instant deployment. So when you share or deploy your application, you're sure that almost everyone is using the latest version, which is something that you typically have to deal with when you create mobile applications. But I think in my experience, it has also been a bit niche to be a front-end developer. I think online, probably because I'm following a lot of web devs, I see a lot of front-end development content, but in real life, I tend to meet a lot of back-end devs so that's something that really makes me stand out, or at least I have the feeling. So that's all I wanted to share in this video, just a bunch of thoughts that I had in my mind. If you can relate to one of these thoughts or if you have anything to add to it, feel free to write a comment. And other than that, see you in the next video.